Yeah. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to present SP.NET uh, uh, MVC project. Uh, in this project, uh, we'll, I will present or demonstrate how, how we send email using Fluent email. So, Fluent email is basically a uh, uh, service in the Nougat. You can uh, download or install uh, Fluent email using <clears throat> command line or from the package manager console. So, let's start. In our project, let me just give you a project overview. So this is the project I have. I already created MBC project uh, using .NET M uh, .NET Core seven point zero. So you you have to make sure in your local PC .NET seven point zero. Uh, let me show you. So here is the .NET seven point zero. I already install a uh, Nougat package Fluent ML Core Razor for uh, uh, HTML Razor template, uh, so that you can add us. You can uh, send email using the template page and SMTP for sending email. Also, this is the runtime compiler. If you change the HTML or Razor page automatically in your browser, you can you can able to see the changes. So first, we uh, you have to create the project, then install the required packages. You can install from the tool uh, in package manager console, also in the from the terminal. Right click the project and open in the terminal. So uh, in the help folder, I already included the installation uh, command. So you can install using this command like Fluent SMTP. Let me just add last one, which is uh, Razor. Uh, OK, I will add uh, here later. I, I already uh, upload this project in the GitHub. You can download and just run the project. Just you have to make sure uh, two things, uh, .NET SDK 7.0 and Visual Studio 2020 uh, community version, which is absolutely free for developer. And also, you can run this project VS Code latest version using that uh, terminal. And OK, so this is the initial overview of the project. Uh, create the MBC project, .NET, uh, MBC, .NET Core 7.0, install required packages. Now I have to explain the <coughs> email services using Nougat packages. So in the, uh, in the interface, we have created two uh, methods, like send, another one sent using a template. So first, I implement uh, send. If we go to the email services, send uh, just uh, using uh, fluent email, uh, subject, body, and uh, send async. So asynchronous programming here. And I already created email metadata for configuring uh, the email uh, details like SMTP port, port number. If we go to the email metadata, and we have the two address. So receiver email, subject, body, and attachment path if you have uh, have attachment. <clears throat> so metadata and uh, also the emails details like uh, a static value, like a default from email and uh, SMTP setting host is HTML, SMTP. I'm sending the more from my personal email uh, and also the port number and username and password password definitely you, you your password so i will uh, I, I have a password i, I just remove and uh, just type here your password so you have to make sure uh, the gmail app how uh, currently gmail sending the smtp using the app password you have to create the app password from the gmail settings so uh, in the program.cs i already included like uh, add fluent email uh, if we go to that fluent email just uh, using the configurations we just uh, we just read the app setting .json file and uh, just uh, uh, in the fluent email extension we just uh, reading like email settings from email to email port number and the password and the uh, uh, just uh, configuring uh, program.cs. So first we have done the email details here and here is the email service. I already explained the email service. So we have uh, almost ready for uh, completing this project like email service, required uh, install, uh, required Nougat packages and also the uh, static value like email, email, email port numbers, SMTP and the username and password. Now in the email controller, uh, we are going to send email. So in the controller, uh, we have an email controller where I, I kept two options. 
uh, using sent email and another one is sent email with email template you can use the email template and in the view we have a like email uh, index and email template this is the basic template you can uh, customize your template based on your project needs and the requirements so uh, if i go to the controller first one send a single email so we have a like email metadata so email titles body and we are receiver email from the front end using the javascript code uh, passing the receiver email in the input field and the receiver email and the title and body and passing the email service sent so if uh, email sent successfully then we'll see the this message unless we'll see the error message first uh, we are not sending we are not keeping the actual password so if we run the project then we'll definitely have an error so let's see what uh, error we are getting in the browser if we run the project so project is running uh, port number 7040 uh, and It's loading, I'm uh, just taking uh, some times. Yes, finally, we can see our expected uh, output from the browser so we have a like email controller and the index we just write a basic html like import is uh, like a receiver email and if we press the send button then we will definitely receive an email so uh, if we send uh, right now this uh, if we click the send button then definitely we have error because in the app setting we are not uh, passing the right password and if we go to the index then i as i explained like we have like import uh, receiver email and the send button if we click the send button then we have a javascript function send email uh, and send email uh, we using we have uh, add the ajax uh, get call using that call we are passing the email to the controller and controller receiving the email and pass to the uh, email services using fluent email we are sending the email but if we for testing purpose if we press the send email now then what happened? Uh, SMTP server requires secure connection. So uh, error. Uh, let me just disable the error so that we can see the error message properly. So. If we press send email again, then we'll have we'll have see the error messages uh, let me try again send email yes now we can see the expected error smtp uh, server requires secure connection or the client was not authenticated the server response was uh, so if we pass the right password let me just add the password i'm just uh, uh, pausing my video after adding the password then i am resume my video again so i have uh, added the actual password so if we try again send email then hopefully we'll uh, able to see the success message email sent successfully so email sent successfully uh, now if we want to check the email uh, we have to go to the test temp email so that we can check the validation email is receiving properly so if we copy this uh, temp email so i'm just uh, copying this temp email and here is the receiver email sent email sent email successfully if we go to uh, the temp email and box is empty if we press the refresh then hopefully yes we have received the email fluent email test email here's the emails details subject i just add the content <laughs> test content so uh, i just uh, create a static method which is get uh, test email body if we go to uh, here then you can see the test uh, data for email body so uh, 
uh, we just almost uh, finished this video and uh, summary is you have to create the project and make sure the dotnet sdk 7.0 and if we uh, download this uh, uh pull uh, this project from the github and then using the visual studio you just run the project without any issue and the project flow is uh, we have installed an uh, we have installed uh, fluent email packages then create an email service and also the email related configuration static configuration in the helper folder we make sure the fluent email extension and uh, reading the app settings json file email details host post uh, ho host port name username and password if we go to the app setting.json then you can so using this project you can easily uh, send email and uh, configure uh, email uh, send email details uh, in, in your project uh, based on your uh, design and needs so hopefully you understand the project flow and uh, i already uh, commit this latest code in the github so you can just uh, go to the github i in the project in the video link i will share the uh, github link so that you can pull the entire project so thank you if you have any question and if, if you have any feedback then definitely comment you you can uh, write down your feedback in the comment section thank you see you in the next video